CadLink demo. What I will be showing today is how CadLink can take a bill of materials directly from your AutoCAD drawing and compare that to currently what exists within your ERP and synchronize your data. CadLink is a direct integration to your CAD system and therefore you need to have your drawing open to be able to launch CadLink to compare and synchronize your data. Currently what I have open is a drawing with a block reference bill of materials. The other two types of bills of materials that Catlink can read information from are the table bill of material as well as the partless bill of material for AutoCAD Mechanical. Catlink is a direct add-in to your CAD system. So all I need to do here is select my CadLink option and run my CadLink integration. So once I select to run my integration, as you can see here, a splash screen appears, which is showing that CadLink is currently connected to my ERP system. What it is doing is taking the part numbers that I found within my block reference bill of material and running this against the part master as well as the bills and materials. So firstly, CadLink was trying to see if these parts currently exist within my part master and my ERP, as well as if this bill of material does exist and what kind of structure it currently has. When CadLink has completed its comparison, it will open the main user interface as shown with the comparison highlighted for the user. So the first comparison that I'm going to be talking about are the green highlighted comparisons. So a green highlight indicates a part that does not exist within your part master. However, it does exist within your AutoCAD bill of materials. So for these parts specifically, the part number, description, and all the information shown is taken directly from the AutoCAD bill of materials, as well as defaults that have been selected previously for other properties. The way that CadLink synchronizes this data is upon saving, it will create this part record within the part master, as well as insert these parts into the bill of materials with the quantity shown. The next row that I'm gonna be talking about are the white rows. So the completely unhighlighted rows. These indicate parts that exist both within your AutoCAD bill of materials, as well as your ERP part master and your ERP bill of materials. So as you can see here, this part has no highlighting, meaning that this part is completely synchronized in both systems. If there is a part that exists within your part master, however, there are differences between your AutoCAD bill of materials and your ERP bill of materials, these differences will be highlighted in yellow, specific to the fields in which there is a difference. So my first example here is that we have a description highlighted in yellow. To see the difference, all I need to do is right click on the field and I can see the two descriptions that currently exist. I have the option to select between the two as well as create my own description. And the way that CadLink will synchronize the data now for this description field is upon saving, it will update the description within my AutoCAD bill of materials as well as my part record within my ERP system and it will update the bill of materials. The other yellow highlights that are shown here are the quantities. CadLink is a CAD-driven solution, meaning that the list shown here, as well as the quantities, are taken directly from my AutoCAD bill of materials. There can be a discrepancy between the quantities, however, I cannot select between the two. And as we can see here, specifically for this part, the difference is that my ERP bill of materials currently does not have this part, however, my AutoCAD bill of materials does. So this part does currently exist within my ERP system. However, it is not within my bill of materials yet. Upon saving, CadLink will include this part in my bill of materials for me. The next highlight, which is all the way at the bottom here, is the gray highlight. So this indicates a part that exists within my ERP bill of materials. However, is not existent within my AutoCAD bill of materials. So the way that CadLink will handle this part is upon saving, it will remove this part from the ERP bill of materials. However, if this is a part that is important to be kept within my bill of materials, I can flag this part as a manual part. To do that, all I need to do is right click and convert to a manual part. As you can see here, now this row is highlighted blue. So this means that this part has been flagged as important for my ERP bill of materials, even though it does not show up within my AutoCAD bill of materials, and it will be kept in my ERP bill of materials. It will not be removed. So these are all the highlights for the main user interface. 
I can export this grid to Excel. So if I need to keep a record of all the changes that I'm creating, I can export what's shown here into an Excel file. There is a changes tab, which summarizes all of the changes that will be created upon saving this Catholic session. So if I have a new part that's being created and included in my bill of materials, or if I have a part that's being removed from my bill of materials, it will be summarized here. I also have a CAD data section in which outlines the different properties and values that I have within my AutoCAD system. This is a read-only section such as the changes tab. This was a read-only section as well. And this is for the user to review the other property data without having to close a cat link and go back to their AutoCAD system. Lastly, we have the messages tab. So this is a live data validation tab, which will make the user aware of any errors that exist within this AutoCAD session. So Catlink follows the same rules and limitations as in my ERP system. If there is a character limit that has been reached, or if there is information that is missing that is required for the part, the user will be made aware within the section. If an error message here does exist, the saving function will be grayed out. So what I've done for an example is created a part that has a part number that exceeds the character limit for this certain ERP. To see which part has this error, all I need to do is double click on the error message and I will be brought to the part. So as you can see right now, I cannot currently save my Catholic session. However, if I update my part number myself and make sure it exists within the character limit, my error message goes away and I can now save my Catholic session. So as you can see, Catholic has a lot of time saving capabilities by creating part records simply by clicking a save button, as well as updating an entire bill of materials with new parts as well as making the user aware of any errors that may occur and ensuring that all errors are resolved before saving the data, therefore not creating problems later on.